Hi, uh, it's Kieran here from D Side Limited. Uh, welcome to another episode. So here we are. Uh, first off, I'm going to be pilot drilling the skirting boards so that uh, it marks the wall behind. On each skirting board I'm going to put about three pilot holes which should be relative to the length of the board. Just keep in mind that we're going to be uh, putting pink rib on this. I'm going to be... I'm using my Makita drill with a Bosch blue masonry bit, 6mm to drill the main holes in the masonry wall and we'll do that for all three holes that we pilot drilled previously through the board And now I'm going to use the Fisher uh, roll plugs, tap them in with a hammer, and of course I will be listing everything in the description below so that uh, you can at least have a look at the items I'm using. Uh, at this moment in time I'm going to be countersinking the skirting board so that the top of the screw hole is not seen as you screw the screw in and we can after and we can cover it with um, polyfiller or something similar then goes the pink grip wonderful stuff this is a grab adhesive it works really fast uh, some of them have solvents in them some of them are solvent free obviously if you're allergic to solvents use the solvent free one um, use gloves if you have uh, you know if your skin is prone to uh, being damaged by glues and stuff like that and then final process, after you've just tapped them in with your fist, because that's what you do, <laughs> is uh, whack the screws in. And I would advise anybody doing this job, knee pads are an absolute must. Because you see after a day on your knees doing this stuff, it will hurt. So just going around to the corner, this is a little trick I've learned through uh, over time. It's basically uh, to align the boards, just use little spacers. You can get a box of these in your build base. And once you get your top lines set and you've cut your angles properly of 45 degrees etc uh, it should line up uh, pretty much perfect as you can see here and I'm just going to take you for a quick run around the perimeter of the skirting boards that I've put in at this stage we will be uh, Corking. I've actually corked some of the tops here. Very simple process, just run cork over the top. These are the joins, the 45 degree mitre cuts, which uh, look really neat instead of just straight cuts because the mitre cut basically keeps the board folded on itself. 
um, corking the edges this is a really important part for me to take your time and do it properly it's uh, it gives the right finish so your cork is a flexible element and because wood flexes uh, between heat and cold don't use a filler that doesn't flex on these joints it's imperative that these joints can move through over time uh, not so much the screw heads I have done the screw heads in polyfiller because the polyfiller grips to the screw heads and stays in place but on the edging and on the corners and on the top of the skirting board it's uh, really important to do it with cork and to do it neatly uh, the trick with cork is to obviously squeeze it in and afterwards clean it down with um, a sponge like I'm doing here and take off all the excess and dot any pieces that uh, Maybe the sponge has wiped off a bit too much. But this will give you a much better paint finish if you do this part properly. And after all your hard work of putting on the boards, you may as well spend a good hour and a half just uh, caulking up and getting it right. Because at the end of the day, it will reflect in your finish. So this part here I'm just using a Stanley knife to get into the grooves where the cork is slightly overfilled uh, the torus groove and the knife cleans it out you know nicely gets all those edges nice and fine and uh, polish it off just gonna show you here how to do the uh, interior angle pretty much uh, squeeze your cork gun along like as if you're siliconing. This cork uh, can be picked up at anywhere here in the UK. Bill Base, Screwfix, um, Juicens, any builders, merchants, B&Q, anywhere at all. And uh, they're all pretty much the same. They all do the same job. Just It's called decorator's cork. Uh, great for doing little filling jobs like this around door frames or skirting boards anywhere where wood movement is a possibility Just using a tiny little uh, 
plastic spacer to clean out those edges and grooves. Doing the exterior edge here. And again, that's just a little pot of water. It's not actually Evo stick PVA, it's just water in that bucket. Yeah, it just helps smooth off the uh, cork. And just go around all your skirting boards doing this. In fact, I had a comment from my first uh, episode asking, "Where's the cork?" And I was like, "It's <laughs> it's happening in the next episode, the one I'm posting next week." So here you go. I think he was quite relieved. But as you can see, again, you know, taking my time and doing this properly is uh, really important because it's the finish that you want to have as opposed to the finish that you don't want to have. So now I'm just going to bring you around final tour. As you can see, I've uh, polyfillered all the other little um, blips on the side. And I use polyfiller for those, not cork, because it smooths out better. Um, especially over screw heads and uh, those joins. They will need a little sand. I would just like to say thanks for watching the video and uh, you know if you haven't then please subscribe to the channel do the old like and subscribe that would be wonderful and uh, I will catch you on the next one thanks for watching